Hey there, welcome back. In this part of the course, I am going to show you how you can download something from a website and put it into a file. More exactly, I am going to show you how you can download the posters of these movies that you want to scrape. Firstly, I need to make a quick note here that we are going to use the request library and not the request promise library that we used until now. Firstly, let's implement it directly right here and I'm going to explain you why we are doing this. So, constant request, require, request. And that's it. But first we need to change the request name that we previously used and let's say something like request promise and then copy this and paste it also right here. Okay, so the request library is the original library dedicated to simple handling of those types of requests that we do in Node.js for our scraper. The request promise library that we previously used is just a wrap around the original library which is request and it makes it possible to use the ES2015 syntax with async await instead of going into callback hell with the original library. This is the main reason we used request promise and not the request library itself. Now I want to do some quick preparation before I start to actually dig into the downloading and storing and stuff like this. I want to change these URLs instead of an array of just strings, I want to make it an array of objects. Why do we do this? You will see a bit later on. So instead of just a URL as a string, I'm just going to make it as an object and give it URL and then close it and then right here URL again and close it. Okay, and we need to make this work also with our current code. We only need to change now the movie here because instead of the movie as a string we are just going to pass in the object and access the URL of this object which is going to be the URL that we defined right here. Also, we need to take care of this part because we don't need it anymore, so we're just going to comment it. And then, right here, I want to start to actually write some code. When you want to download something from a website, either an image, a Word document, an MP3, a PDF, it doesn't matter. You basically need to create a file stream within Node.js so that it can put data into it and build the actual file. So. Let me start creating a variable, let's say file equals file system dot create write stream. This is the function that we need in order to do this and we only need to pass in a parameter that is related to the actual path of the file that we want to create. So remember we are in a for loop which iterates over each of the URLs that we are using so we must use a dynamic file name. We can't just use file.jpg and then in the second call it will get overwritten and we only have one file. This was the main reason I wanted to create actual objects instead of just strings because right now I want to pass in an ID or something for the actual file that we are going to use. Okay, so I'm just going to write here ID or something like that and I'm just going to pass in the movie name of this movie which is going to be The Silence of the Lambs. Alright, for the next one I'm going to do the same and also just to make it prettier a bit ID and then Gone Girl. Alright, now we can make use of these IDs and we can create the actual file with these names. So let's go back and do that right here. We want to create a file with the name of the movie.id and then we are going to put it as a JPEG. We need to specify it because when we are actually downloading it we don't know what type of file it is and this is going to make it more easy for us because we can find out what type of file it is from either the URL or from the request response but for now we assume that it's going to be a JPEG because we already know that movie posters are on JPEG and we're just going to pass in 
.jpg. Now that we have this, we can give it a quick test and we will expect to see two files created on the system with the ID of the silence of the lamps .jpg and gungle.jpg. So let's do this quickly to see that everything works. And then let's go back to the files. And indeed, we have gungle.jpg and also the silence of the lamps.jpg. And it is an empty file because we didn't pass any data into it. All right, now we actually need to take care of the request that goes to the server to the actual movie poster and then streams the data into our newly created files. So I'm just going to quickly show you the documentation for this library and tell you how easy it is to search for yourself and see how to actually do it. It took me like five seconds to Google this library and then you can clearly see the table of content and then right here you have a quick example on how to stream data into a file. So you basically need to make the same request just like we did before pass in the URL and then use the dot pipe function to pass in the data to the newly created file that we previously did also with create write stream. Okay, this is pretty easy. So let's just implement it and see how it goes. I'm just going to pull this aside again and then going to the code and start writing it out. So I want to actually create another variable which is called stream and then we are just going to make use of the request library and start doing the same as we did previously. In the URI I'm going to pass in the movie poster which holds the actual link of the image and then here for the headers I'm just going to copy paste what we used above. Copy all of this and paste it right here. We only need to remove this part of the code because the host is not actually internet movie database for the posters they are using s3 from amazon and then this is going to cause some problems so we are just going to remove it and also i don't want to forget the gzip all right right now we just want to pipe it out pipe it and then specify here the actual file Okay, so now that we actually have the code written and ready to go, I want to first go right here and comment the second movie out because I want to only run it for the first movie. And the reason behind it, it is because we're in a for loop and uh, basically what's happening, it's making the first request for the first movie, waiting for it to finish because we use the await syntax and then it's going to come right here and it's going to make a request for the poster, it's going to save it into the file, but then it's not going to wait until this is finished in order to continue. It is straightly going to go right here and it's going to make the second request again, and after that it's going to get here again, and this is going to collide. So firstly, I only want to run it for a single movie, and then we will deal with this problem also. Right now, let's test it out and see if it works. All right. Debug console and it seems that we have a problem. Options.uri is a required argument. Okay, let's see what we have right here. We are passing in the movie.poster. But actually, it is just poster. Okay, my mistake right here. And just replace this and let's run it again. Okay, nothing happened. Let's check the files and check the silence of the lambs. And here it is, the actual image that we need. Now that we have the actual image downloaded and you saw the process, right now I want to show you that if we test with the second image also, this is going to work. And that's only because we only have two movies. When we have multiple of them, like thousands of them, this is going to make a problem because we are constantly opening streams but we're not closing them we're not waiting for them to finish and it's going to full up our process and give us many problems so let me run this again and see what we have okay it runs as expected and it's done 
let's check the actual files and see if both of them are intact and indeed they are gone girl poster and silence of the lambs poster are downloaded properly in the next part of the lecture we are going to cover how to make this part of the code async so that it waits for it to finish until it goes to the next request stay tuned for that and see you in the next lecture